to Great Barrier Island for the Get To Go Finals. Now today, our 12 teams are going to be split up. It's going to be one team going head to head with another team. And the challenges are going to be physically and mentally challenging. So I hope you've had a good breakfast. Some good taco. Today's challenge, that high ropes course. Just casually on that high hill with those high poles. Now every team is going to have a go at this. But to kick us off, we have got Whangarei. Up against Teradao. Oh, we don't fall off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the cow poo. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so confident. I'm not really a fan of heights. This challenge is all about getting a tennis ball from one end of the course to the other. Then you score points by hitting one of these targets. Ten points for the white bucket, five for the blue, and three if it's in the ring. Sounds easy? Well, it would be if it wasn't so high. This does not look good. <laughs> Our teams have to take turns on the rope course. So for easy comparison, we're going to mix them up. Here are our two teams starting. Sarah's climbing for Teradao and it's William for Whangarei. Now they need to lift the ball up in the bucket and take it across the ropes to their next climber. No problem there for Sarah, she's passing it on to Grayson. But William seems a bit tangled up. Oh my gosh, he's so tangled. Teradao are now passing their ball to their third climber, Zane, who starts the tricky rope swing. Oh, oh no! He's dropped it! Boy, oh, tuck it into your pants or something! <laughs> so it's back to the beginning for Teradao, but Whangarei are still there too. Emma is waiting for that ball, so William's going to try again. But no, he's still tangled. Teradao are back in action. Sarah passing to Grayson well. Man, these guys are fast. Got it? Now Zane's just got to make sure he doesn't yeah, fall yeah, yeah. off. That sure is high. He shoots. And it's a hit. You got the blue bucket, five points. Took a while, it's their first point so far on this one. Meanwhile, back in Whangarei, William is still working on his knots. Teradal is steaming ahead now. A good pass to Grayson. Really cool out there. Zane shoots again. It's a hit. Uh, they got three points, they just got in the rope. Good job. Come on, Grayson. Finally, here comes Whangarei. William passes to Emma. She's a bit wobbly, but it's good. She passes to Matt. Okay. Emma's down quickly, and now the pressure's all on Matt. Teradal already have eight points. He shoots. Yes! Hey. Good work, Matt. Oh, he plays cricket, so he's pretty good at aiming. Ten points, good score. Yeah, first ball in, they did well. It took them a while to get going, but now it looks like they're trucking. They certainly are. That shot put Whangarei straight into the lead. But here come Teradal. Can Zane even the score? Let's go, Teradal! Oh. No, it's a miss. Nice try. Get it down, let's go. And here come Whangarei, ready to extend their lead. Yep, and McKenzie. It's a miss. Go fast down, because I need to go. Teradal are working well as a team. And here's Zane with his next shot. Yes! Yeah, yeah Zane! Nice shot, bro! So it's five points for the big bucket. That puts Teradale back in the lead. 13 to 10. Whangarei have changed their shooter. Callum is taking over from Matt. That's a hit! Three points, guys. Three points on that. Which means the score is now even Stevens with both teams on 13 points. Whoa! Zane's looking a bit wobbly on it there. But he lines it up for Teradale and... Yes! Ah, uh, 10 points. Yeah, they got 10 points. Hit the white bucket. So, well done. Got it in. So, Teradal retake the lead. Man, this is exciting. Whangarei passed to Callum. Can he even it up again? Oh, no! He's dropped the ball! Panic stations! Teradal have another ball ready to go. It's a five-pointer! Time's almost up, but Whangarei still have a chance. How long do we have? Here comes William, but... Oh, no! I simply dropped the ball. Ten seconds left. Both teams are now rushing to get that last shot in. It's going to be close. Come on, the pressure's on. Let's go. But no. Sorry. Game over, guys. Which means Teradale beat Whangarei 28 to 13. We are totally stoked. Yeah.
stay tuned because next up our teams come together for some action out on the water and we see how all 12 teams are stacking up in the competition.